so that old broom's just not working for you anymore. Well, maybe this new one will just do the trick. Small messes can be big problems, and using a traditional broom and dustpan is a backbreaking chore. Well, not anymore. Now, from the makers of the best selling Hurricane Spin Mop comes the all new Hurricane Spin Broom, the cordless, lightweight spinning broom that cleans up this mess, that mess, and every mess with ease. Now, cleaning up at the. Well, I am back with a new product, and maybe this one will do the trick. It's the spin broom. I don't know. It It's a little dirty right now, but it does have two bristles, actually three bristles, uh, two big ones on the outside, which you can see, um, and then on the outside from, from the top, you can see it. And then there's one on the inside. Uh, basically what it's supposed to do is to you just push it and cleans up all of the mess that's on your floor it's neat on how this is actually brought together um, because how each of these bristles move as you just saw dust fly and how it picks up the uh, the material itself is a pretty cool idea um, but I feel though that it could be made a little bit different and I'll, I'll get to that in a moment so at that being said you have little wheels here uh, they're almost like kind of like feet so when you do push it along the floor it moves the bristles uh, allowing you to move the center one and then it just sucks it into the back here um, yeah a, a cool idea very good idea but there are a couple problems that I do have with this um, I'll get to those in a minute but one of the biggest things that when I was going through and I was um, getting this out of the box is that you only have a couple pieces. So you only have a couple pieces for the, the handle itself. There's only three. Then you have the product. And then there's also a cleaning brush, which is nice. Um, then on the back, it has where you can open up and take out all the uh, junk that fell on the floor. Well, that's awesome. Well, I want to try it out. I want to put it on my hardwood floor, see what it picks up. So sprinkle water on there uh, and try to move it across. Yeah, it picks it up picks up very well and you're able to pick up large pieces small pieces um, really almost any size so it does work in that in that way but do not back it up what, what I mean by that is when you pull up and then you pull back like any like vacuum because that's kind of how you're going to be using it. you're gonna be let's be real for instance you're going to be using this kind of more like a vacuum and not a broom or anything at that particular. So when you back up like a vacuum while you're vacuuming, it spits out all the stuff that you just put on the floor. That's not what you need. It's making your mess worse now. It's not even doing the job at this point. So yeah, uh, you can't back up with it. So you does have a 360 handle at the bottom so you can turn it around. Great. But it's not really that easy. One of the problems is that with the feet itself, it's a little hard to move. It's a little hard to maneuver because they are rubber. So when you do move it, it doesn't want to give have any give at that point because it's supposed to control the uh, the the bristles. Okay, awesome. Well, great. All right, and I get the bristles here. These are the coolest thing. Uh, the bristles. Are allowing you to be able to get uh, anything from walls corners um, or anything that's in, in an area to where you really kind of can't get to uh, which is cool um, it does get it it does pull it in which is very very neat and this is one of the things I really really do like about it is that when you do push it along your wall or in that corner it does kind of pull in that, uh, that debris and pull it right to the center so that is one of the coolest things already which I wish a lot of vacuums already had because that would be very nice. I don't know of a vacuum off the top of my head um, that has bristles on the outside so you can, you know, get the stuff that's close to your wall because you do the same thing as a vacuum. Let's face it, you don't go through and do a 360 turn unless you got a Dyson maybe, um, but not everybody has that. So on, on that point, the bristles... Uh, would be really really cool 
to go through and, and guide around your wall, which is really neat. And that's one of the things I like about this. Um, other than that, it's not, it's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just put it that way. It's, it's okay. It does not pick up everything. Uh, it does kind of make a mess. Um, so if you have something that's crumbly and it falls on the floor, uh, great, it's gonna pick it up, uh, not any problems. But let's try that with something a little bit more powdery. Uh, let's say flour, you're in the kitchen, you're making something and plump flour all over the floor and now you gotta go clean it up. Well, when you run this bad boy across it, boy does it make a mess. It gathers some of it up, sure. There's no problems in it gathering some of it up, but it moves all of it all around everywhere. And I mean, wherever you move this thing, yeah, you better believe that there is going to be flour along with it because it's just gonna, it just moves it. It just moves it in areas that you don't want it. It makes your area larger to where pretty much it just becomes unusable at that point. And that's one of the reasons why it's not really that great because there are a lot of messes that you can't clean or your messes that you have to go through and uh, use a broom uh, or and, and get a little bit wet because it is fine. It's, it's fine material. Um, and this does not really get any of that fine material whatsoever. So with that being said, is it a great product? Sure. I think there are a lot of improvements that could be done to this. Um, one is the fact of how it moves. Those little feet uh, that move the mechanisms, I can see that breaking as well. That's one of the other problems I do see with this, is it, does, it, it could eventually break and you will not be able to use it. I think there should be extra wheel, just a separate wheel itself that's on the back that you can go through, push along, and be able to gather whatever material you want. The bristles, on the other hand, that those are one of the cool key features about this product. Um, so when you are getting close to a near a wall, you can just move it along and it's just gonna suck it or pretty much pull it into the center, which is a really neat uh, idea. And I kind of wish they would incorporate this, not just on a broom, but uh, vacuum cleaners as well. And it, that's one of the coolest things about this product um, is that on the outside, uh, Opening up and taking out the stuff, not the easiest, I will say. Uh, the flip on the back, it is a little hard to kind of open. And then once you do open, if you open it the wrong way, you got another mess on your hands because it's open towards where the bristles are at so it can pull in the, the material well, or debris at that point. Well, if you open it the wrong way, and that is pointing down. Now all your stuff is coming out of the bottom and uh, now you got another mess on your hands. So great, awesome, that is lovely. Um, there should be a new way of opening the device to be able to go through and dump out the, the, the material you have or the debris. Um, you don't want another mess on your hands. Again, this the product is not a bad idea. Um, there's a lot of improvements that it does need uh, that I think could be gone through in time and just going back through a little bit of R&D to figure out how they can do to make it a little bit better. Um, right now, I would advise just go out, use your broom. It's going to get everything. Uh, when I mean everything, it's going to get all your flour. It's on the floor. You're not going to have any problems and you might have to wipe a little bit. Sure. Great. But your broom at this point, it's cheap. You could probably pick one up for a couple dollars and, uh, this here cost me roughly about, I think, $10, $15. Um, broom, couple bucks. So you kind of weigh the odds at that point. And again, guys, thanks for watching the video. Go through, like, dislike, do whatever you want, but make sure you go through and you hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel so you can get the next video. Also, if you do like the way I did this video, make sure you go through and you put that in the comments as well. Um, I want to be able to see it. I want to see what you guys are saying. Uh, those do help me. They do improve a lot of the videos and a lot of the work that I do. Uh, if you need to go on Twitter and tweet me uh, and DM me, whatever you need to do at this point, um, please let me know. I, I want to know if this is a video that you guys like and you want to keep seeing it this way. Uh, I do like shooting it this way. It's a little bit easier. Um, so I please let me know. 
Again, go through, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Take care.